Catawampus here with another quick video review. Not only do I do uh, reviews of, of arcade games and movies and paranormal activity, but also I'm a big Dungeons and Dragons fan. And I came across this little beauty a few years ago. And uh, basically, this is for those who don't have the time to set up a Dungeons and Dragons campaign, or if you just can't get enough people to play, this is for one to five players, or if you um, have a group of people that have never played Dungeons and Dragons, this would be a great um, place for them to start, as it's relatively easy um, to learn. Um, the game is packed full of, of uh, dungeon tiles and um, um, characters and monsters. I can just get this box off. Alright, so. So it comes with a rule book. Actually, this is the adventure book. <clears throat> and it gives you um, the setup on how each adventure is laid out. And um, you can either play individual adventures or campaign modes. And uh, there are um, 9, 10, 11, 13 adventures. So you have a beginning, middle, and end. So there is resolution with this, and each adventure takes about mm, one hour to two hours of gameplay, depending on how many players you have, and then you have the rule book. Um, one of the complaints that I've received <clears throat> from people who initially start playing Dungeons & Dragons is um, they play the old school way with graph paper and pencil and paper, <clears throat> and that's great if you can use your imagination, but a lot of people nowadays with that. So now we have these uh, tiles, they're map tiles, and you can actually um, put together random um, maps. So every time you play this, you will never create the same map twice. Because when you flip a map tile over, you can place it anywhere you want. And sometimes it forms dead ends. Sometimes it just goes off into a completely different path. So you have map tiles. And then you have uh, monster cards. And it's not just cards that show you what you're fighting. But with the cards, you actually come with these great figurines, monster figurines. Um, this is actually a, a boss. Figurine. This is the final fight against uh, a Shardalon. So you have actual figurines. These are unpainted. But um, it does give some visual um, um, helps, helps people with uh, um, putting something visual on the board because you have something like this and then you have the, you know, the creature on the map and then you have like the the villain ready to attack it, it comes with a d20 it's only one d20 but like I said it's relatively easy to learn if you're ever interested in Dungeons and Dragons you, uh, this is actually a good thing to pick up um, there's actually five of these there's a Castle Ravenloft, and then, which I'll probably just review every single one of them individually, or maybe do a playthrough. But you have Castle Ravenloft, Rash, Wrath of a Shardalon, Legendress, um, Temples of Elemental, and um, Tuma Annihilation. And they can all be combined together, or even um, um, played separately. So, technically, these are standalone games. And expansions, but um, so I played this a few times. So 
some cool figures in here. Got wolves. Um, great if you're going to paint them, if you're good at that sort of thing. But I've had a few people come over who are, they have never played Dungeons and Dragons before, and um, they've actually gotten a kick out of it. It's, it's easy to learn. Um, there is a sequence of play with these games, but it's not a hard sequence. It's, um, usually it's a few steps. So usually what happens is you have the sequence of play. So you start off with the exploration phase. Um, which is, ah, it's blurry. <clears throat> Where uh, your hero explores um, a dungeon. And depending on what color of a triangle you get, whether it be black or white, depends on the um, the encounters um, that you get. Um, white, um, rarely anything happens. Black, um, that's where the bad stuff happens. Um, usually it triggers traps and monsters. Um, and it's not just a hack and slash um, type of game. You have to be strategic, because if you um, are trying to hack and slash every every turn, and you aren't constantly moving through the dungeon to get to the end goal, monsters will populate, and you're going to have a hard time <laughs> getting through the dungeon when there's five or six monsters on the board, and there's only two of you. Um, but um, this is just a short little review of uh, of uh, the, the the system. If if no one's ever seen it before, um, it's been around for a few years. The new system is actually coming out um, in a month or two, called uh, uh, Waterdeep Mad Mage, which is supposed to be a massive um, dungeon crawl. Um, and then with these sets, they come out with the, the fifth edition books and, and other things. So, like I said, if you're uh, familiar with playing this, or familiar with Dungeons and Dragons from the 70s and 80s, um, this is actually a great alternative, because it takes up very little space, it's easy to set up, it takes maybe... 15-20 minutes to set up each campaign. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, if you can't get players, it's one to five players. So if you want to play solo, you can. Um, and the games don't last a long time. And in future expansions or in future games, you can actually um, gain gold level up, so they are slowly introduced these rules throughout the game so it doesn't get overly complicated, um, and it really does uh, help players who have never played this before, as, as well as I said before, seasoned Dungeons and Dragons players who just don't have the time. You know, it's great to bring to someone's house, you play for... Mm, an hour, two hours. Um, last time we played this, we had a group of four, and yeah, it took about two, two and a half hours to play one campaign. It all depends on how quick you move and how quick you make the decisions. Um, it is a cooperative game. There, you aren't. Um, you work together, and the system, which I will, I will. We will have to uh, do a playthrough, but the system has a great built-in AI. So the system, using cards, tells you how to move the monsters, how the monsters attack, and um, and it's just completely random. So anyway, so that is my quick review of Dungeons and Dragons adventure board game, Wrath of the Shadowlands. Can I want this? Ow.